Hey guys, so I posted earlier that I had finally figured out how to make an offset text in Inkscape and get it to load to Design Space after several hours of fighting between YouTube videos and Google searches and everything else. And so I said I would try to make a video that had all of the steps and all of the things that were giving me issues um, it put into one video. So this, I'm going to try to do this here real quick. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just zoom in a little bit and um, just go through the process here. So um, you're going to click on text. You're going to make your text box. Make sure you're just making one text box and then type your text. Um, I'm changing my font just because I've really been enjoying this watermelon script at the moment. Um, you can choose whichever font you would like. Next step is very important. Make sure you go back to your selector tool. You want to make sure that you are not accidentally drawing an extra text box. Even if you do not type anything in this text box, it still shows up in the layers wording however of saving your SVG and it will give you problems in design space so make sure that you do not have any extra invisible text boxes edit undo will not undo accidentally drawing a text box the only way that I have found is to just completely restart your project so make sure you're only drawing one text box no invisible ones after you've gone back and gotten your selection tool, you've only drawn your one text box with your text in it, you're going to go to Path, Object to Path, Object, down to Ungroup, Back to Path, and click on Union. Union is um, similar to Weld in Design Space. Then you're going to go down and you're going to click Path and then Link to Offset. I will zoom in here a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing a little better. So here was another issue that I was having that about made me want to pull my hair out. I would come over here, you need to click on this diamond, and then the theory is you click on the diamond and you drag it to the size you want your offset to be, and voila, it's done. Well, as you can see, this is what was happening to me. Click and drag. Oh, let me change it to red so you can see it. So I would click and I would drag nothing, nothing, flashy, flashy, nothing. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. I wanted something much smaller. What I found out was, if you go over here to the right-hand side, this little button right here that is clicked, it says Enable Snapping. I'm not entirely sure how snapping works. It has to do with sizing something to a grid, and I don't know. But if you click that off, you will see that you can... Now just very smoothly, nicely define the size you want your offset to be. Now at this point, when you've got your offset the size that you want it, you can go back to your selector tool. You can take your font, your word, and separate it out. And you see all these holes here that you do not want um, in your offset. Most people don't. I'll show you how to take those out. Um, I'll just zoom in here so we can see the first step that you need to do is you need to take this, your offset, and you need to go object to path. Then you will click on your node selector, and all of those little boxes are different spots inside the file that say this is where you need to cut. So you always need to come in here and clean these up because sometimes you can see them because of the white spaces, and other times, like my A didn't look like it had anything in it, but it does, so that'll just make little tiny cuts in your vinyl or cardstock or whatever it is you happen to be using that you don't want there. So I just, you know, zoom in, clean up all of those that I don't want. Okay. And then I'll go back to my selector tool. I'm just going to zoom back out. And if you want to layer this now, 
and center it, you can. You drag and select both of them. You can go here to your Align and Distribute. You can also find that under Object, Align and Distribute if it doesn't automatically pop up for you. But So then this will come up and you can center on the vertical axis and center on the horizontal axis. So now we have our offset done. We're going to come back over here. We're going to save it. I'm going to click Save As. And I'm just going to save it as my name. And the other step that I found was that if you save it as a plain SVG instead of an Inkscape SVG, um, you have a lot easier time. Oh, I already made one of those here. We will go Natasha 2. This is my second recording here. Okay, so we'll save, come back, and now we are going to upload it into Design Space. So you'll bring up your Design Space, you'll click on Upload Image. I have saved this to my desktop so it's pretty easy to find. There's my Natasha 2, the one we just got done doing. And you can see it will pull it up. Um, no error message is. I don't have to clean anything up because I've already done that and I can just click on saved. And now if you want to go back in and insert here, here you can resize it and group it, center it, um, depending on what it is that you want to do. Um, this is also, if you come in here, and I just noticed this, um, we have a couple little cut marks that we did not get cleaned up with our nodes. Um, if that's not going to bother you, you don't need to worry about it. But for me, if I were cutting this to put on a tumbler or something, I would go back and fix that. Um, but that's where those nodes come in handy. And the more you zoom in on them, the more you can see them. So if I come back here... And I go back to Node Selector and zoom in even more. I can see those nodes that need taken out, as well as this one. Um, and that should, that'll fix the marks that we're seeing here and here. Um, I hope that answers your questions. I hope that helps you get your offsets done. I am by no means an expert. Just sharing what worked for me and how I finally figured everything out. Um, if you have any other questions, I suppose you can try to message me on Facebook here. And I can try to help you, but like I said, I'm still a beginner and trying to figure everything out. So no promises, but I will do my best. Thank you guys. Have a great day.